have information and fake rumors the way it's actually growing in nigeria not even nigeria we see it growing all over the world mm. and i mean that brings to mind a, a situation whereby in nigeria we ourselves we don't even like verifying information so it's now the onus is now on us right now that a lot of things we need to put a lot of things in place and i'm looking at it talk about 2019 because before you know 2019 is just 24 months around mm. the corner and we as the youth of nigeria the electorate that's the citizens the people that are going to vote there are a lot of things that they're just using to distract us we should actually focus on right on, on a lot of things right now things like maybe uh maybe the budget of on how open the budget is the meteoric rise between maybe those are the things we should focus on in nigeria not just maybe on mere information or maybe half information we should the budget is actually open for us to discuss those mm -hmm. are the things i think we should actually focus on looking at 2019 and maybe we should actually call our leaders out for debate which i think is very very important at least for us to know where we are going the whole plan and the rest like that i'm talking about um the dollar for example yeah. i know they're going to release um, an economic reformation and growth plan i really okay. think for that economic reformation and growth plan one of the most important thing i'm actually looking out for in a plan like that is a plan that is going to state is going to stipulate how they want our foreign exchange like management of our foreign exchange and fiscal policies i think that's very very important because right now you see the cbn coming up with a law today tomorrow they actually repeal that law next tomorrow they come up with another law so we don't need that kind of uh would i call it a state of igiaga we need yeah. something that is very very profound and something that is very very solid yeah. so i think we're looking out for that in the economic reformation plan that is coming out in subsequent weeks all right um a touch a touch light on um you know the spending is is another issue news going around about uh, president osin badger's gatehouse 250 million naira mm -hmm. um that story is still evolving but um which is why I'm, I'm stressing the issue of sensitivity and how information is is put out there um what what would, what do you think the best advice should be for the present government now in as much as a lot of people know that they are doing what they're trying to do based on what is available um a lot of of what we've been hearing is that give us time you know give us time to settle in there's a lot of backlog of issues from the previous government but in the same vein a lot of the senators house of rep members are still being paid um because. huge amounts um in the same vein there's um a lot of um spending that is happening there hasn't been really any major cutbacks in the real sense of it mm. um so it's just like mo maybe it's lip service or the fact that a lot of people are now very involved and looking at every single line in the budget and when you have or you hear something along the line of 250 million for the gatehouse you start to get worried um what, what, what's your take on that um my take on that although um if you actually look at the 2017 budget compared to the 2016, you actually see it in a way whereby they are more like the same thing. Hmm. However, what I would just like to tell the government of the days that although there are a lot of things that are actually coming up in place, I've been following um, Babatunde Fashola, that's Raji Fashola, he has been on tour of um, different parts of the countries to actually see what's going on in terms of the road and things like that. Hmm. I just think when it comes to issues like maybe um, with kitchen utensils mm. and uh, things like that. The government should actually try as much as possible to cut back from that because we need to just understand that one of the reasons why most people actually voted for Bari was as a result of the old claim that he's going to be someone that is going to live a, a Spartan lifestyle and all. But in a situation whereby you still see it's still business as usual, it's, it's kind of um, very, very sad. It's mm -hmm. very, very sad that we still go back to the, a lot of, um, a lot of uh, frivolities still existing in that budget. I don't think we need okay, that now, right now. Now, now, let's move from the, the government to the governed, the people mm -hmm. who are, well, in the last couple of weeks, we've been very active in the social media space and on the streets, mm -hmm. uh, one of which is the, the rally that took place. Um, and everybody rallied behind uh, Two-Face Adibia. He pulled up, but the rally still went on. Um, the most recent one is Aldo Maikori. People rallied around him. There seems to be a trend and a pattern with Nigerians f coming behind or falling behind behind people they believe are credible or have um, been fighting or have been very vocal about the plights of Nigerians. With that in mind, do you think that anybody who's coming to the office, credibility and transparency and the fact that they have... Um, a history and a precedence will will escalate them being in power or in a position to effect change or do you feel it's there's more to the polity than than just having a good name and having large numbers of followers on on instagram facebook mm -hmm. twitter and making a lot of noise 
Thank you very much. Um, for that, um, as you rightly said, um, that we are asking a question in respect of that. And what I actually say is that, um, looking at it, I tell people nowadays that this is the time to belong to, would I say, get on the streets. In as mm. much as um, Facebook, I actually do a lot on Facebook, Twitter yeah. and the rest. In as much as those um, platforms are very, very important. But you just say that the main people that actually hold the nation to its jugular, yeah. that these market women, and you see that they have association, they have association of market women, association of sack sellers. Mm -hmm. However, the sad part about it is that you see that the, in, the that's the aristocrat, I won't say the aristocrat, but you see that the enlightened one, they actually prefer maybe coming up, we actually prefer them not um, <laughs> having anything to do with them. We just prefer just maybe handling a situation whereby you're just um, absorbed from these people. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, just think, I'll just like to advise them that it's now time for us to actually get on the streets. Mm -hmm. It's time for us to start associations, start informing people, start going to the newspaper vendors place to actually um, to, to yeah. form thoughts and reaction and stuff like that. I think that's very, very important. Then also, but, I mean, but, but, but who, who is actually literally going to take the bull by the horn? There, there seems to be a lot of Nigerians don't want to die for Nigeria. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are safe from the comfort of their home, tweeting yeah. sometimes on the street. But when push comes to shove, nobody actually wants to take that plunge. And the question is, um, until that happens, until somebody is willing to do that mm. deliberately, we will just be making a lot of noise. I mean, um, let, let's even move over to, to another one quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, $153.3 million, uh, the seizure is, is another issue. Maybe we might not have enough time to, to talk about that, but a lot of these issues are out there. But I would, uh, <laughs> my director said we need to go. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would definitely have you back mm -hmm. and we'll delve more into this. Or maybe I'll take it into the next segment or so. But thank you very much thank you very uh, much, for coming yeah, in, Moscow. Tokumbo. It's my pleasure. Uh, really appreciate that. Yes, uh, The story is still unfolding. Uh, but this time we're going into the world of fashion and uh, taking a look at a designer stylist by the name of Jane Michael uh, and the business of fashion and the impact of that in Nigeria. We'll be back on Rubbing Minds. Well,